Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, keeping tabs on the developments in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker. And I'm joined by Paul Taylor, CEO of Thought Machine, which provides a cloud-based core banking platform. Paul, thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about Vault, your next generation core banking platform, and how you differentiate it from your competitors? Okay, so Vault is a cloud native core banking engine. And as such, it is built in the cloud. And that contrasts with how nearly all banks do it today. Banks, most banks do it today, nearly all banks do it on uh, mainframe technology. Mm -hmm. And mainframe technology was a great choice back in the day, but it hasn't really kept up. And nearly all the other technology we see in the world, um, you know, everything in done by Google or Amazon or everything else, um, is deployed in the cloud. So we're just bringing the best practice of how everyone else does it, the modern technology, to the banking world. Okay, but what are the benefits of being cloud native? Um, there are many, right? So first of all, there's a lot of things that the cloud brings that just weren't issues back in the day. But for example, security. Mm -hmm. So in Vault, all the data is encrypted at rest and in transit. And it, at rest means that it's super secure and we all read uh, all the time about uh, data breaches mm. and now very big fines associated with data breaches. And we this should never happen. And a large part of this is due to uh, the data being kept on all technology, which is easy to access and easy to hack. So security is a, is a huge one. And then flexibility. So um, instead of having to build your own data center and worry about this, and data centers are built for peak demand, um, you're sharing the, 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 uh, your system with many other people. And if you want to scale up the system for peak demand, uh, that's fine. For example, last day of the month, banks do payrolls and things like that. And so you can get the servers scale up and you never have to worry about uh, stress on the system. And then uh, and downtime is another one, or the opposite of what we call high availability. I think we're all fed up with the notices once a month of our bank, banks being closed on Sunday morning mm. because it needs to go up for regular maintenance. In the cloud, we've got very sophisticated ways of updating the software live, so there's never a second downtime. Uh, and I think the final one's resilience. It is just very, very robust to outages in hardware, outages problems with internet, and so on and so forth. So put all that together, uh, secure, more resilient, more flexible, and actually cost as well, much cheaper to run. So there's, there's very few trade-offs. Yeah. So do you think banks are really ready to move their core system into the cloud? Uh, yes, well, it, it's, that was a few years ago, banks wouldn't have conceived of doing this. But the advantages I just said are compelling. And uh, as awareness of the cloud and the benefit becomes more uh, prominent, uh, banks are doing it. And now there are many, many banks who've got cloud native programs. And normally they don't start with the cloud, uh, don't start with the core, they start with some other, other piece to gain confidence. Mm. But they are moving to the core for the benefits I said. Um, and I think it's telling, I was at the, uh, was at the Mansion House speech um, and Mark Carney spent a few minutes talking about the benefits of the cloud and how banks should move to the cloud and how the Bank of England would support that. And that is uh, revolutionary and a very welcome message. So when you're talking to incumbent banks, what kind of arguments do you have to have in order to make them feel more secure? Yeah. Um, I'm actually been very impressed by how aware most of the banks who talk to us are. Of course, banks talk to us, they know who we are and they know what we offer, so they're very interested uh, and they've typically made some sort of uh, decision to uh, build a prototype or build some sort of system there. So what they're looking for is reassurance mm -hmm. and they're looking for reassurance that, that, that it's as good as it, it said it is. Um, often we do proof of concepts with banks, um, we, there, we sent, they bring in their teams and have a look at the technology and just gradually build confidence uh, bit by bit. Um, but we, we don't spend much time talking about the benefits of that versus the mainframe. They've typically already decided that they want to do something in cloud. Mm. But banks, you know, for understandable reasons, uh, you know, want to be absolutely sure before they move. And then we just spend, uh, uh, you know, time doing that and, uh, and, and, and various projects. You know, how can you ensure or how can banks ensure that they're not building the next generation of legacy systems? Um, well, it's impossible to guarantee that, but there are ve another benefit of the cloud is the ability to upgrade um, the system as it's going. Uh, another benefit of Vault is everything is automatically tested. So why do banks find it difficult? To, why, why do they get stuck? Mm. Well, one of the reasons is the cost and complexity of changing their bank just slows them down. There's always a drag on, uh, on, uh, on improvement. But in the cloud, and all this comes from companies like Google and Amazon. Mm -hmm. They are fast-moving, innovative companies, and everything that's put in there is designed to be upgraded from scratch. So mm -hmm. as I said, and you know, in in the best companies, they're actually upgrading it, you know, every week and sometimes every day. So upgrade is built into the core technology, and that makes it much easier to not get stuck. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Paul. Thank you.